Hey y'all, Justin Wakai Catfish. Well, I am back on the Tennessee River tonight and I am in the exact same spot that you saw in my last video. I hooked a golly whopper in that video. I think it was my biggest blue cat ever. Uh, definitely top three biggest fish I've ever caught. And I caught it right here on the tip of this point in 50 feet of water. So that was two nights ago. I'm back out here. We're gonna just go back to the well, see if it'll lighten and it'll strike again for me here. Now tonight for bait, went out and got some fresh skipjack and I got some fresh white bass. The, all the blue cats and the flatheads that I caught in the last video came on white bass. I didn't have any skipjack then. You know, skipjack is my preferred bait by far out here on the Tennessee River. So I've got some big ones tonight. So we're gonna try to put some big pieces of cut bait down there and see if we get some more big blue cats or big flatheads moving through this area. So let me get these baits on here. We'll get to it. All right, guys, there's the money maker. That's the big one. Big skipjack head going down. Got that on the Carolina rig. I'll be suspend fishing tonight. I'm anchored down on the tip of this point. 50 feet of water. But I'm going to have my baits down directly under the kayak. And I'll have them up two, three feet off the bottom there. They'll just be dangling there, just waiting for any big fish that may come through. I'm going to start out with two pieces of skipjack. I'll have the head piece there, of course, on that rod. I'm going to have a body section on this front rod going here. And then on this back rod here, I'm going to have a white bass head. And I may switch out as the night goes on and just put more white bass, just depending on you know what's getting hit. Got to let the fish tell you night to night what they want. There's that big skipjack body section. But I want to start out at least with two skipjack body sections and if the white bass is getting hit then as the night goes on we'll switch it out. They were, you know, last trip out all I had was white bass. But they were all over it. I caught several good fish including, again, what I think is probably my biggest blue cat ever. And a nice flathead too. October 24th when I'm filming this video here. About 8.30 p.m. right now. I'm gonna fish till, I don't know, 12, 1, 2 o'clock tonight. I don't intend on moving either. I'm gonna stay right here on this point and just wait on fish to come through. There's that bait, that's just a white bass head. Been using a different hook lately. This is a Mustad Demon Circle fine wire, a 10 aught size. Been trying them out the last couple weeks. Really like them. Didn't have any complaints with the Team Catfish hooks that I was using. I just thought I'd try these. Catfish Dave, who I'm a big fan of, he uses these hooks. I thought, well, I'll try a box. And uh, so far, I'm liking them. But uh, anyway, guys, we're set up. All the baits are out. I'm going to flip this slide off. See if we can hook another big one or not. There he goes. There he goes. Fish on. Oh no, that's gonna pull some drag. That's gonna pull some drag. Look at that go, man. Look at that. I wonder if that ain't a striper or something. I know. This front rod. The way I've got that light set up there. And this front rod's black, so when I'm looking into the light, I can't see my rod tip. And I felt that, that rod get hit you feel everything in the kayak. And I flipped that light on and I couldn't see my rod tip. And then it picked up and I just, the thing just shot off. There's an airplane over right in the middle of the commentary, of course. <laughs> he's kind of going where he wants to go here. And he's going back toward my anchor rope. I don't want him going that direction. Definitely got this other line over here, but that I can deal with. Don't want him getting in the anchor rope. Man. This fish is strong. I don't know how big he is, but when he surges, he goes. Oh yeah. Another good blue. 
No, they're good blue. He's gonna do laps around the other line there. That'll be a fun mess. <laughs> but it's worth it. Look at that. Another good fish, man. That's another good one. I'm gonna set up my board. Put that rod back in the rod holder a second. Some of you was wanting me to get some measurements on that big fish I caught in the last video. I never weigh fish. I think weighing fish is just completely stupid. You're not gonna get an accurate weight in a kayak anyway. But I didn't have my board set up with me on that last trip because I'm not in any tournaments right now. So I didn't really have a need for it. But I have kind of modified my board a little bit. I've made a new trough for it. And so I got it with me tonight. I'm gonna set it up here. We'll measure this fish and try out that new trough. All right. Let's bring him in. <laughs> Great way to start out tonight right here. Great way to start out tonight. Pliers here and get that hook out. That is a fat fish, man. I, I thought it was a striper way he hit it when he first bolted. He does not want to open that mouth up either for me. I mean, he hit it so hard, or took off with it so hard when I picked up on that rod. I thought for sure it was a striper. Camera mount spun around there. Let's hold that fish up. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That's a great way to start the night out. <laughs> Let's throw him on this board. All right, y'all. There he is. He is over 40 inches. That is a trophy size blue cat in most states here in tennessee to get you one of them certificates I'll take you 34 inch fish and five dollars i don't participate in that i'd go broke if i turned in every 34 inch fish but i think most states it's around 40 inches uh, to qualify and this one was over that so great fish man <laughs> i'm gonna let him go we'll turn him into a 45 inch fish someday there he goes. Well, that made the skipjack body section, so I'm going to put another one on there after I untangle these two lines. <laughs> All right, another skipjack body section. Going down. Got action here, y'all. Got action there. I thought I felt the kayak moving. <laughs> yeah, this one is... Uh... This one's on that white bass head right here. You know, all my fish in that last video where I was tearing them up. You know, best trip I've had in months in that last video. All of them fish came on that white bass. So I might need a second rod with white bass on it tonight. That's a flathead right there. There, it's a flatty. Well, y'all, first flathead of the night on the white bass. Get the hook out of him. That is one thing I've noticed about these uh, must-had hooks I've been using. I said I've never had any problems with the team catfish hooks, but I do think I'm getting a little better hookup ratio on the flatheads uh, versus the team catfish hooks. Uh, the blues, I had great hookup ratios. Uh, regardless, but I think I'm getting a little better so far on the flatheads, at least the ones I've caught recently. There he is. <laughs> He's a pretty thing. I think all these flatheads are pretty. I know I'm alone. A lot of people think they're ugly, but to each they own, I guess. <laughs> There's another white bass head going down. That other bait was still looking pretty good, but I've got a surplus tonight, so I'm gonna be switching out these baits just about every time I catch a fish. And probably about every hour or two, because I've got, like I said, I got a surplus. And I was, I'd love to fish tomorrow too, but we got some rain moving in. 
Uh, looks like it's going to be a washout uh, tomorrow and the next day, so we probably ain't going to get to fish. So we'll just try to burn this bait up tonight if we can. So we got hit. It's swimming. That line's swimming. Pick up and be ready for him right now. There he is. Look at that. Look at that drag strip. Look at that drag strip. That's on that big head. That one just thumped it. I felt a thump. And then nothing. And by the time I got that light flipped on, I could see my line just swimming. <laughs> I've been sitting here an hour, y'all. Nothing going on. And then this one come along. Yeah, I've been doing this year-long experiment where I just been, instead of moving all the time like in years past, I just been picking out a spot where I think fish are going to either be or they're going to move through and riding it out for the whole trip. That's a flat. No, that's a blue. That's a nice blue too. That's another good one. But anyway, to finish what I was saying, yeah, I've been doing this year-long experiment to see how it's working out. And I started it in December of last year. December through the spring worked excellent. We got a bunch of fish, got some really nice fish. But once we got postponed July, August, September, the times of year where I'm typically doing really good and catching good numbers, getting some good sized fish, bob drifting and, and trolling, uh, this year has been a struggle. But now the wind to fall here, the bite's picking back up again on this on this set and wait style. So that's what I was wanting to find out, you know, is just put the time in, put the experiment on, just to give it a full year, you know, give it a full run. Do something I ain't done before. Like I said, I've always been a, a stick and move guy, you know, just always on the move. So I've had to kind of make myself sit through this the last couple months when there's been a lot of bad trips. But I'm going to be a lot better and a lot smarter when this year's up. Oh, put that oh, don't you do it. Don't you do it. We're coming in whether you want to or not now. I need you to calm down once we're in the kayak. We gotta we gotta act like we're indoors now. <laughs> Can't be getting crazy once we're in here. Keep all that nonsense outside of it. Alright. Let's hold him up. Look at that thing. That's another solid fish. <laughs> Another solid fish, worth the wait. All right, well, I got this board sitting here. Again, I think weighing and measuring fish outside of a term, I think it's dumb. But I got it here, so we'll do it. Y'all, that fish is about 36 inches. So another good one. Another 36 incher. All right, adios. Do it again, somebody. Get out of here. Look right there. Look right there. That just went down. That rod just went down while I was drying my hands off. I ain't even got that other bait down there yet. Look at that and pull. Heck yeah, man. Like I was saying on that last fish, I've been sitting here an hour with nothing going on. Now we got some more active fish moving up on this point. You know, this style of fishing. Somebody asked me the other day, is this something I'd recommend for, you know, new people starting out? And truth is, I wouldn't recommend doing this uh, if you're brand new to catfishing. Just simply for the fact, if you're not good at reading maps and understanding fish behavior and where they're going to be, having your baits here just directly down under the kayak in one spot, if you're off, you're not where you need to be you ain't gonna catch nothing or you're gonna get a very limited fish and so you know if you're brand new to the sport I'd recommend drifting uh, dragging trolling just covering as much water as you can and learning learning where your fish at that'll put that'll allow you to not only cover a lot of water and learn the body of water that you're fishing on but it'll also 
put a lot of fish in your kayak or boat or whatever you're fishing out of just because you're going to be covering so much water you're going to you're going to put your baits in front of some active fish golly he is pulling man he is pulling <laughs> But once you get good and start to learn, you know, fish behavior and get good at leading a lake map, this right here, this method, anchoring down on a spot like this, putting your time into it, that'll put you some quality fish in there. Let's see what this one is. Is that another blue? Can't tell you. Yep, it is. That's another blue. <laughs> that is another one. <laughs> Oh man, that's awesome. You know what I want to do right fast, y'all, before we land this one? I'm going to set him back here a second. Set that back. And I'm going to drop this other bait down here right quick. Yep. The hook's still good on there. Because if we've got these fish moving through, two in a row come through like that, they're probably not alone. I'd say they got some friends with them. But they want them head pieces. That's what I'm going to give them. So we'll get that thing back down there. And we'll pick this one back up. Oh, come on in there. Come on in. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've fished this spot now two videos in a row. But don't be shocked if I come back and hit it a third time too. When the fishing's good in an area, you got to just keep going back and just pound them. Just keep wearing them out. Because these fish, these blues, they move all the time. So you get on them in an area, take advantage because they may not be there long. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> That thing's thick for his size. That's a heavy fish. <laughs> Man, I love it. That, it's just, it's fun to get it. I got this place to myself again out here at night. You know, we in the fall now, and after dark, there ain't nobody on the water. I got this whole river to myself. All right. Like I said, we got this board here. Let's just throw him on it. I need to put his tail right. Oh, that one is another one that's over 36, just barely over 36 inches. But I think this one weighs significantly more than the last 36 incher because this thing is much heavier. <laughs> that's a thick fish. Well, let's let him go. Go get big, buddy. Get on. <laughs> Well, hopefully we'll hook into some more like that, y'all. I'm going to drop that white bass head back down and do it again. There we go. There's another. Hopefully, hopefully that light lasts right after I got done talking to the camera. After that last fish, my light went out. The battery's dead. But I've undid my fish finder and run that battery, I mean that camera light, into it, so... <laughs> Hopefully, we're going to get some more footage tonight. Yep, that's another blue. I think that's the smallest of the night, and that's uh, still a decent fish. The old thing got me all soaking wet. It's always the smaller ones that get you soaking wet. The big ones won't do that to you. But these little ones, they ain't got no... No respect for their elders. <laughs> Get that hook out. That make that white bass head. Well, I think that's probably the smallest blue of the night. That little flathead we got earlier there was the smallest fish of the night. But I think for as far as blues goes, that's the smallest. And that's a, that's a dang good fish to be the smallest one of the night. Let's let him go. There's that one. I'm going to put a small white bass head on that. 
And then I'm going to switch out these other two baits too. I'm going to put a new skipjack head on this one. And we'll put that white bass body section on that front rod. There's that head. The skipjack I got was good size. I'm getting some bigger ones when I'm getting on them. I ain't getting on many. I ain't getting on them often. But the ones I have gotten recently have all been pretty good quality. Got one on right here. Yeah, I do. I do. That's on that white bass body section. That I just dropped down a few minutes ago. I just had a feeling I needed to put on white bass body section. Now that big blue I got in the last video, it ate a body section of white bass. I just got, just historically, you know, I got so much confidence in the head pieces. It's hard for me when I got a surplus of bait like I do tonight, it's hard for me not to have head pieces on every rod. But I always like to have variety, because you just never know. That's a small blue. They're getting smaller, y'all. We started out big and we're working our way down. <laughs> Yeah, I believe that's the smallest blue so far. We going in the wrong direction. We need some more. Oh, it got me right in the face with that water. <laughs> we need some more big fish to move through though. Them little ones like that just get me soaking wet. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's about 2 a.m. right now and for the last three hours or so, the bite has just been dead. I've got a couple dinks, which I'll probably edit out just to save time on this video because I know it's gonna run long again, but Otherwise, that's been it, and that's kind of how it was when I was out here a couple nights ago in that last video you saw there. There was a window of time from about 8.30 to 11-ish where I was getting a lot of active fish moving through and feeding, and then after that, and that video was just dead, and this boy, it's been out here tonight too. So uh, I think I'm going to pack it in and call it a night. It's getting chilly. Tonight's one of them nights. It's, a, it's cold, but it's also damp, and <laughs> it makes it always feel colder than it is. So uh, I think I'm gonna take it on to the house. But I tell you what, I had a good night out here. I got several quality fish. That biggest there was over 40 inches, which is a great fish. Anytime I can get that. And uh, I've had some fun out here tonight. So anyway, guys, that's a wrap on another video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.